Instead of telling you what creating a catalog means in Publisher, we're going to show you how it works. Let's say you're a retailer with 24 high quality hair care products and you want to create a catalog for them. You're going to want three items on each page because you need room for the price, pictures, and description. That comes to eight pages in all. The hard way would be to design eight separate pages and then manually enter everything using the techniques we've taught you in this course. The easy way would be to compile your product list and then create a single template using the catalog tools. When you're finished, Publisher will automatically take all of the information in your product list and insert it into your template, creating eight individual pages with three products on each page. So let's see how it's done. Create a publication or open an existing one. If you're creating a new publication from scratch, you'll probably want to add a few extra pages for the cover and the other interior pages. When you're ready to create your new catalog, select the page you want the catalog to begin on, and then click the Insert tab. The Catalog Pages button is found on the far left in the Pages group. Go ahead and click on the Catalog Pages button, and this will open the Catalog Tools Format tab. If this is the first time you've used Catalog Pages in the current publication, most of the buttons will be grayed out and inactive. They'll remain this way until you create or select a data list. So let's create a data list. Click the button on the far left called the Add List button. Here we have the option of creating a new list, using an existing one, or choosing a list from our Outlook contacts. Since we're going to be making a catalog of shampoo products, we're obviously not going to use our Outlook contacts. We'll show you how to use Outlook contacts in the Mail Merge section of a later lesson. So go ahead and click on the Type a New List button. Here we have the opportunity to create our list from scratch. To add an item, click on the New Entry button. This activates a new row. Click on the first cell of the row and type in your information and hit the tab key to jump to the next cell and so on. If the column headings at the top of the list aren't appropriate for you or if you'd like to add more fields, then click on the Customize Columns field. The buttons in this window are pretty much self-explanatory. You can rename a field by clicking on it and selecting Rename. You can add or delete items or you can move them up or down on the list. You may notice the field titled Picture. Here you can't use an actual image. Instead, you must use the address of the image. For instance, if the image is located on your computer in your Publications folder, the address of the image might be c slash user slash your name slash document slash picture name. Click OK when you've finished adding all your products. Publisher will then ask you where you want to save the list and what you want to call it. So you'll type in a name, select the location, and then save. Now let's go back to the Use an Existing List option. With this button, you can use any data list you've already created, either with Publisher or Access or Excel, or any other compatible spreadsheet program. Clicking it will open a window asking you to locate the file on your computer. Once the file is selected, it'll open in a new window. And if you're using Excel, it'll ask you to confirm the worksheet you want to use. Click OK. And if you were using Excel, it'll ask you to confirm the worksheet you want to use. So you'd find that and click OK. Now here in this window, you have the opportunity to review the items in the list, as well as select which items you want to include in your catalog. In this example, the items with a check mark indicate items that will be included. If there's any that you don't want to include, you would just uncheck the box. So click OK. Now look below the Data Sources box. This shows you what list you're using. Selecting it will make the Edit, Remove, and Refresh buttons active. The Match Fields button allows you to match fields in your data list with fields available in your catalog merge. For instance, the data field in Excel spreadsheet might simply be named Field A. This button allows you to identify Field A as Product, Description, and any other customized field. Once you've created your list or selected one, it's time to create your catalog pages. Click OK. And your navigation pane on the left side of the publication will look like this. That group of pages right here that's labeled 2 represents your catalog. You can add individual pages before it or after it, and you can even move 2 around as a group, as if it were only a single page. You can also delete it, just like you would any other individual page. 
Now, as we said at the beginning of this section, what you're going to do is create a template that Publisher will use as a guide for entering all the information in your list. After you create your list and activate the catalog page features, you're going to see something like this on the page, right here where it says Catalog Merge Area. This is the default catalog merge area. As stated earlier though, we're going to want three products per page. So we're going to select that layout from the layout section of the ribbon. Publisher has 10 predefined layouts that you can use. You can select any layout at any time, even after you've entered your merge fields, and Publisher will automatically make the adjustments. You can also create your own layout by using the rows and columns button on the right of the layouts. Adding rows and columns with this tool is just like inserting a new table. Just remember that each cell essentially represents each item on your list. The Fill Order button lets you decide how Publisher should fill each of those cells, either across, then down, or down and then across. The Repeating Areas option lets you choose the way in which the merge areas are repeated. So you can choose one repeating layout, each column has its own layout, or each row has its own layout. So now that we've selected a layout, we can enter our field. To the right of the layout group on the ribbon, we'll find the Fields buttons. And those are here in the Insert group. This button gives us access to the fields on our list we created earlier. Now right now, the text fields will appear in our publication as placeholder text. For instance, if we were to click on the Product field, it appears here in our publication as Product. This represents all of the information that was entered into the Product field list that we created earlier. So this right here represents our template. Notice the placeholder names. Now if we look at what the actual publication looks like, this is what the catalog entry looks like when the placeholder text has been substituted with field entries. And Publisher does this automatically. And you can switch between that using the Preview Results button. Now you can use the text tools to change any of the attributes of the placeholders. For instance, if you wanted to increase the font size of the product placeholder. The font size in each subsequent entry will also change automatically. You can also add pictures and other objects. Just remember that anything you put in the merge field will show up in every other field. To the right of the Catalog Tools Format tab of the ribbon, you'll find the Preview Page group. From here, you can preview the results, locate any entry, and even exclude a selected entry from the catalog. It's now time to merge the catalog. This is the part of the process that Publisher creates all of the individual pages it needs in order to display all of the items in your list. On the far right of the ribbon, you'll find the Merge group. You can elect to merge your catalog into a new publication, add it to an existing one, or just print it. Clicking on Merge to New creates an entirely new publication based on the publication you originally created the catalog for. Publisher automatically inserts all of the necessary pages into your publication. You can see what that looks like here. If you were to click the Add to Existing button, Publisher would give you the opportunity to locate the publication on your computer and select it. It would then enter all of your catalog entries into that publication, creating as many pages as necessary. The Print button creates the pages and allows you to print them. And you can also preview the pages.